Hey there traders, welcome back for episode number 70 from the stockbandit.tv. I hope that your trading week is going well so far. Now in this episode, what I wanna do is kinda of show you how I manage day trades and I'm gonna show you an example from today. Uh, this is Continental Airlines, C-A-L. This is a stock that uh, in the newsletter over at the stockbandit.com premium newsletter, uh, I've shown this stock as having broken this support level right here. We've already got uh, the top in place right here and a lower high on that failed bounce attempt right there. And since then, this stock has just been cruising lower very steadily and it's uh, just struggled to bounce over the past few weeks. So we've got a downtrend clearly in place and we've got this broken support right here. Now, last night I pointed out this stock and said that there really is no nearby support. In fact, uh, the next support is the next possible support is right around here around the 850 zone and a break down through yesterday's low could offer a play on the short side which was at 950 so a move down under uh, Tuesday's low would have been another technical sell signal as the stock continues to slide lower in search of buyers at lower levels and so the trend is down and yet it's not it's not yet too far stretched on the downside to still offer some some uh, movement to benefit from if you're short the stock. So that was kind of the big picture setup here on the daily chart, of course. That's where I locate my setups. Now, uh, on the intraday chart, I want to show you how I manage this trade. Now, this blue line up here yesterday, it marks yesterday's close. And all that is is just a constant level to show yesterday's closing level. Now, here is, of course, yesterday's low. Uh, and right here, this line right there, is the break between uh, yesterday and today. So today, this stock started breaking down. It undercut this 950 level right off the bat and began heading lower, and it bottomed out on this first initial move. You see there's no green here for the first several bars of the day. It bottomed out right there at 918. So it's already well in the money. It's a very good, uh, profitable trade here, and yet there is no nearby support on the daily chart. So my thinking for this trade was that I would see where the initial bounce carried to and then uh, move forward from there and try to manage a trade. So uh, you know, you've got to let a move like this bounce and show you just how much there is behind it. So you know, we got a little bit of a bounce here, but the stock only carried up to you know around the 940 area, <clears throat> and really was una unable to move back up and even test this breakdown level at 950. So uh, you know, at this point, I'm feeling like okay, it, it's definitely a winning trade, but uh, it certainly could continue to slide lower, and, and I like the prospects for a uh, continued move lower. Now, it did come back down and take out that morning low just slightly. Here's the morning low. It made a new low. Uh, not too long after that, but then it bounced again. And so it was very reluctant to break down right there. So right there is strike one. It bounced back up and yet was unable to eclipse that first bounce. So I'm still feeling like, okay, it's got a uh, lower low and a lower high in place and maybe it is gonna go ahead and break down. So it does come down here and it makes a new low again for the day. But if I zoom in here on the chart, you can see that this candle right here kind of wicked. So it's kind of a head fake move and then the stock bounced. So after it did this, I, I just decided I'm going to stop out right above this short-term congestion, which is at 925, and so that's where I got stopped out of this trade right there. But you know that was still about a three percent move from my entry, uh, which happened to be right there. So it was a very good trade uh, to that regard. But you know, ultimately this trade did continue lower. It actually got back down under the nine dollar level, so it went twice as far as I actually captured it. But I wanted to give you some glimpse of how I tend to manage a day trade intraday. I'm watching a three minute chart here. That is my preferred time frame. And uh, you know, I really just tend to watch the price action. Uh, I don't pay much attention to the volume to be honest with you. I know a lot of traders do. I can't knock that approach, but I just don't play, uh, I, don't, I, I don't prefer to give that a lot of weight on an intraday basis. Now, the, the same rules apply though when you're chart reading. 
lower lows, lower highs, that tends to imply that a downtrend is still in place. And you know, had I really stuck with that theme, I could have done a lot better because even on this bounce that shook me out right there, that still carried to a lower low. So that technically would have kept me in the trade. Even the bounce which followed that was a lower high. And so I should have called that that a lower high. But that's essentially the way I'm going to manage a trade intraday. I want to watch the momentum. I want to see the reactions in the stock. How far does it carry? And just how much does it seem to, to offer conviction of a reversal? And, uh, you know, one more thing I should point out is both of these bounce attempts, when they topped out, they provided wicks on the candles, meaning those candles did not uh, finish positive. They, they kind of head faked and then sold back off. And so uh, always interpret the price action um, the way that you would on a daily chart when you're looking at the intraday chart. Try and stick with a good trade, but at the same time, once you've got a good winning trade and you catch a good move like this, don't let it go all the way back to flat. You know, I, I this initial move put me up well positive on the trade, and yet I wanted to, to see how far it could carry back up. I, I felt it was unlikely to reach back to the breakdown level, and fortunately uh, ended up with a winner right there at that nine quarter level with an exit, and yet it could have been a whole lot better. So, you know, we always try to look in the rearview mirror, examine those former trades, those past trades that we've done, and see what we can learn from them because that's what's going to help us as traders going forward. I hope in watching this video, you picked up on something that can help you in your trading. So thanks again for joining me, and I will be back soon with more videos. But in the meantime, trade like a bandit.